Ah, Minecraft. Such a beautiful game. Definition of peace and tranquility. It can also be quite terrifying, though. As you saw from the intro, hi, this is Project Spidernetics. I am Logic Core, and today we will be teaching you how to build an abandoned creepy mine shaft. And you, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. It's greatly appreciated. It's free, and it only takes a couple of seconds to do. Also, this was a suggestion by GamerBoy once again. If you have any suggestions, just leave it down in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, guess who got a new look? The guys down in HR allowed me to change my look a little bit. Now I got a vest and a trench coat and some goggles to match, you know. This suit wasn't really breathable. Anyway, let's get right into this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do when building an abandoned night shaft is you're going to want to find a deep, dark, creepy forest that looks really scary with shaders on at night. So, this is the spot I picked, and right here we're going to have a little hole right in the middle. That's going to be the middle of your circle, circular hole. Now, since it's going to be a little bit of a big hole, we're going to want to get rid of these trees. Oop. We're going to want to get rid of these trees. I'm not going to do any accurate amounts of how much you need or anything because technically, basically it's kind of random if you think about it. As you saw from the intro, it takes a bunch of stuff, so you're going to need a bunch of stuff for it. Now I'm going to teach you how to build a couple simple ones. One is just an abandoned mine shaft. one is a abandoned nether mine shaft. And another is a abandoned mine shaft with a mob spawner in it. And another one is a I don't know what to call this one. I guess a TNT mine shaft. Maybe I might, I might change it while we're building. I might change it a little bit to a, maybe a cave spider mine shaft or something. Yeah, I think we could do that. I definitely think we could do that. So this is probably big enough. Hold on. Yeah. So now we're going to want to dig down a couple of blocks deep. You can deep, dig as deep as you want. I prefer to do it at a certain level since we're not exact. This isn't for practicality. This is just for teaching purposes and also decoration. But if you want to actually use this for your actual mine shaft, send me screenshots. I bet that would be awesome to see. And uh, yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated. And Anyway, we're just going to be digging down for a little bit. Just digging, digging, digging. This is... Isn't there a song about that? Like a parody or something? I don't know, I'm old. Uh, okay, so we're going to keep digging. Let me see how far we can go. Oh! Well, we reached our point. So, let's see. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a point break. Point break, that's a that's a normal thing. Uh, our point of, I don't know what to call it, I guess our end, our bottom, our bottom, that's where I went. So this will be the bottom of our little cave, little mine shaft, I mean. And we're just gonna dig the hole for now. Just gonna dig it pretty deep. take a while. <laughs> Alright, so just a little more. Almost done here. And then I think the next thing we're gonna do is dig out the little hole, detail it a little more, and then we're gonna make the little crane that you saw in the beginning. Yep, that's pretty deep. So now we're gonna do this. Gonna make it a little wider. And flush this part of that a little bit. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. That's looking like a pretty nice hole. If I do say so myself. Uh should I do that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, why don't you 
yeah, so you're gonna want to clear out a little space over here. So you can make, again, you can make this the hole as deep as you want. You can make it as wide as you want. I'm just making it this wide. And as we get to do this. I'm just making it this wide for practicality purposes, and I'm just going to be destroying the rest of these leaves. And since this is all, these are all the trees we're going to get rid of because the rest of them we're just going to strip them of their leaves. We're going to take a little note from Hero by himself, and we're going to make it a leafless clearing. I, I was going to say forest, but we have to completely empty the empty the leaves off this entire forest, and I am not in the mood to do that, so we're not going to do that. Now, we're going to do the little thing that, in the beginning, the little, uh, what do you call it, a campsite? Yeah. Oh, and the mine shaft that I made has all four of the elements I included, because I like to think every little build tells a little story about what happened in there, so, you know, just take a little look back and see if you can tell the story tell what the story is is what i should be saying uh where are the we're gonna need spruce stairs for this and logs here we go now you're gonna make it like about nine by nine and you're gonna have a little log in the middle i hate these things and so now you're gonna have the little soul campfire thing and I, I'm, I'm using a lot of soul-based lighting because of the fact that it's a the one of the dimmest one one of the dimmer lighting objects lighting blocks. Well, they don't light too much of they don't illuminate too much, so they don't illuminate a lot. So wait, hold on. They don't illuminate a lot, and I don't want to use redstone torches because I feel like that's just a problem. That's just a accident waiting to happen. Kaboom, if you know what I mean. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I'm not really using redstone torches. I like the new addition of soul torches, though. I feel like it's really fun. It's a really fun addition to Minecraft. And I actually like the nether update a whole lot. It adds a lot of decoration blocks that, well, that really gives builders uh easier time with building stuff so i placed the cauldron here to put in like some sort of stew i guess rabbit stew or something anything to catch really uh let's get some lanterns up in here lanterns one right here one right there and finally water bucket so now what we're gonna do is just this is just the outside for now we're just gonna do this we're gonna strip them I'm gonna strip the trees and we're gonna put a bunch of wither roses, maybe a, bunch, a little bit of coarse dirt. Let me see, let's get rid of all these shrubs first. That so look as dead as possible. Coarse dirt and wither roses. Are they called wither roses? Yeah. Funny how the only roses in the game are wither roses. <laughs> Alright. Oh, these things cause a wither effect, so if you're playing in survival and you're making this, you're gonna have to kill the wither for these roses, and, uh, it's gonna hurt a whole lot if you step on them. So, I don't recommend using them if you're used, playing in survival. They're hard to get, and it's just a whole thing if you do try to get them and you get hurt, and it's... Yeah. So, oh. Didn't mean to fall down the hole. Just gonna put in coarse dirt so grass doesn't grow back on this thing. Make it look like an actual mine. Ooh, there we go. That looks a little better. Now, uh, yeah, the crane. The crane is what we're gonna do next. So this one, you're gonna need stone walls for this. Ooh. Stone brick wall. Uh, trap doors, stone brick, stone brick stairs, and 
something to fill in the stairs with. So right now we're just gonna build the base right over here. How far was it? Okay, right here. And we're gonna get uh, wood, spruce wood. We're just gonna be using spruce. Oh wait, it's playing some. So. Wow, I've been playing this game for so long, and I can't. I, I keep forgetting what they're called planks. Wow, what a noob! We're gonna also need grindstones for this, and some trap. No, not trap doors. I already have trap doors. Fence gates. So yeah, it's quite a build. No, what? Go. Is that the middle? That's exactly in the middle. Perfect. Now you're gonna want the grindstone to be facing. This will work. Facing this way. Hold on. No, I did this right. Okay, good. I was just making sure. And now we just put the trap doors like so. No. Wait. No, I definitely did this wrong. Right, okay, so it's one block above. I'm not really smart, if you couldn't tell. So now let's do this right here. Boop, 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 boop. And I believe there is a grindstone back here. And yeah, no, there's grindstone right there. Trap doors go up here, a little bit lower. We need chains for this as well. Uh, hold on. Let me just finish this part. Chains. Let's get some chains. Just one. Just not not plural. Just chain. Now, uh, right here, we're gonna need to place some. Oh my god, this in my eyes. And right here, where the trap door is, there's a reason why I put that there. It so uh, will hold up the anvil, which is gonna act like a weight. Now, it doesn't look like the trapdoor is holding it up, but it actually is. So, if you actually get rid of the trapdoor, it's going to fall. So, that's what the trapdoor is for. It also makes it look like an actual crane. I think I may have built this a little too low. So, I'm going to place that just in case right there. And... Yeah, so this ending part over here is going to need up. Okay. And now we just need to build this part. Yeah, I definitely did something wrong with this. Yeah. Built it too low. Now, right over here, we build a little base for the crane. Okay. And it's not really too hard to do. You don't have to fill it out, but it's a little pet peeve of mine when I think it does a pet. Uh, pet? Fill out, so I just fill it in with stone brick for now, since that's what it's literally used for. That's what it's literally made out of. And, uh... Yeah. Now we just need to add the chains. And a little block at the bottom of it. Now you can use any ore, anything you want. I just used a netherite block for the... A netherite... Netherite block, it's called, right? What's it called? Netherite that I do around? Block of netherite. Ah, so close. Alright. And the block of netherite. Now you have a working crate. Now you can. This is just a normal mine shaft. This could be your normal go to mine shaft. Wait, hold on, let's fix this. We're not gonna add these spooky elements quite yet. I'm do and I'm also gonna show you how to do rooms first before we go on to decorating the thing. But, we're going to work on the this room, the base room, the spawner room, and the nether room, and boomtown, or maybe sp cave spider thing. Depends on my mood. Now, I'm not actually going to show you this present time because it's going to wait, make a, it's going to make the video way too long and I don't want to waste you guys' this time, so I'm going to do a time lapse with the replay mod. And I'll come back and I'll do decoration present time. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to build straight through that hallway. We're going to get break all of it. And I don't actually get to the breaking part quite yet. Oh, 
This is for decoration. I noticed there was a ravine below the mine, so I decided to I decided to build scaffolding so that you would have access to the abandoned the ravine below. And right here, I'm actually carving out a bit of the area so that the so that we can put in fences. Oh, and here I actually realized that I made the roof too low, so I have to go one block higher. So it's gonna be like four blocks tall each um, each thing. Four blocks tall, just like that. And I actually make these little things like in the normal bend in my shaft, except I added a little more detail to it and. I did that, and I do this around the entrance of all of them, so that the spruce block actually connects to the spruce fence. Over here, I begin to work on the actual spawner. This is the sp zombie spawner part of the abandoned mine shaft, and I actually like this one a lot, mostly because it actually kind of looks natural. It oh, that was not what I meant to do. It looks natural and it just has this little crack in there. And if you notice that I disappeared and the whole room appeared, it's because I used the slash fill command. Unfortunately, you won't be able to do this. You won't be able to do this on a normal Minecraft survival world, so you're gonna have to destroy all of that by hand. And it is actually. I have the measurements around here somewhere. I'll. Um, yeah, no, I have them right here. So the measurements are a. 7 times 7, no. Yeah, 7 times 7 room. That's 5 blocks tall. So, over here, I actually make the roof out of, and I. So, I realize you can't actually get a mob spawner in survival mode, but you can get. Well, actually, you can't really. You can use a machine to, like, push them in there, but. You can't really get a spawner. And I use zombie skulls over here to like signify the dead zombies and redstone for blood because spooky, you know. And right here I just make the little railroad part of the mine shaft. And I actually push the minecarts off the rails. This one I have a little difficulty on. And then after that, oh I also put skulls and vines because the vines make it look kind of mysterious and I don't know, it kind of adds some feeling to it. If you know what I mean. And I don't actually use any natural lighting. I use soul lantern and soul torches. And I, I told you why in the clip before. And right now I'm doing uh, the cave spider. I decided to do a cave spider thing. But over here I'm going to fill in the entire room with. St oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah. So rain came in here and I was unable to see. So I actually had night vision potions on me. So over here, I set the, I put an activator rail and a torch in front of it, and the t the TMT goes off. I build off the bottom where the ravine is, and then I kind of just fill the whole room with webs. So I make it look like the cave was actually opened up, like the spider nest was actually opened up by the TMT, and that it set off, and it kind of made the cave spiders angry. So, unfortunately. Once again, you need a spawner for this one. So most of these builds are more creative build, like these, this, the mob spawner over here and the mob spawner over here. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I make a whole room over here, and then I put the spawner right there. So the room with the zombies and the room with the cave spiders actually is not supposed, is, I think they're supposed to be mostly for creative mode. And over here, I just put a bunch of blood, and I don't actually leave any skulls because, you know, spiders don't leave bodies, do they? Except in the cocoons. Thunder is annoying. Yeah, okay, here we go. This is where I cleared the weather because the thunder was really loud. And so over here, I'm just uh, uh, opening the... So over here, I disappear for a second because I'm building over here to like do the slash fill command again. And this is an actual, the bigger room. If you want to do what I did, it's a 15 by 13. So width... width width times length, this front part being the width and that part being the length, and uh, nine blocks high. So yeah, that's what I do, and uh, yeah, so that thing's huge, as you can see. And you're gonna need a big room because, yeah. Oh, over here I actually messed up, and when I, the see, the weather goes off again. I don't know why it keeps turning the thunderstorm. Maybe the sea is cursed. Ooh. Ghostbusters, anyone? And, uh... So over here, I accidentally, I, well, I mean, it was looking pretty bad anyway. I wasn't happy with what it was doing. So I, the, the clearing, I accidentally clear it. 
a few seconds and I'm actually kind of happy that I did because it didn't look right it didn't this one didn't look right so I actually accidentally cleared it watch three yep there we go and in an attempt to get rid of the thunderstorm I actually cleared it so here I here I'm seen doing it again this time I'm building the nether the nether brick frame first and then the portal so and in the top part instead of using normal iron bars I actually use uh, chains so hold on so over here I actually I decided that I would use chains instead and yeah and then I actually add like some stairs over here to make it look more fleshed out see and uh, yeah I think it looks pretty good like that and so now I start filling the whole ground with netherrack and start yeah just filling it in the rack yep oh I also make it look like a, it kind of like infected the mine a bit so like the nether was kind of leaking out of the mine slowly so you're gonna see in a few seconds that I'm gonna start filling up the room with uh, lava well first I put a chest there then I start filling up the room with lava this is actually a bit different from my original thing that I showed uh, that this is a bit different from the original thing that I built and uh, I actually kind of like the little lava touches that I added make it look like it's actually from the nether and not look natural you know or man-made so over here I start putting in like the red and blue stuff I think the warped grass and the crimson grass fungus I don't remember what they're called and then over here I put the warped fungus and they grow into trees fungi trees I don't know what they're called and over here I do the same thing and the lava kind of flows out over here so I actually have to get rid of the chest and I place it somewhere else but I kind of like the effect it did over here it kind of looks crowded but in the nether it's all chaos it's all chaos in the nether so I kind of made it like I kind of wanted to I wanted to do it as true to the nether as possible I was gonna add a bit of soul sand but I felt like that it was a bit too much in the original you see that I actually do add soul sand and I have blue fire as well as uh, red orange fire over here I uh, actually do the frames over here because I didn't do them originally and you're gonna see that this kind of burns off and it makes it look a bit more natural as if the nether really did come over here so right now I'm just adding the last pieces and I actually I think I like the portal oh there it goes yeah there we go I like the portal and the fire goes out so and then the next thing I do is add a bit more decoration I add like the little pieces oh I had the little pieces like the mossy the vines the vines and the cobwebs and over here I begin to I realized that I could have used the fill command for the paths as well so over here you're about to see just like magic you just I just use the fill command I put in the coordinates I want and then I put in the coordinates on the other corner and if you want to see how to use the fill command I'll put in a put up a tutorial for it that might be next week's video. Actually, I think I might do a Thanksgiving video next week. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so I fill in the frame, and this is actually going to be the base. So this is like the mining area of it. And right here, I actually have a bit of difficulty because I, I realize that I messed up because this is supposed to be like a circle thing, and I mess up a bit on the circle, so I have to and I end up trying to fix that a bunch. So it's gonna take a while, and then it's gonna. I think I clear it out. Yeah, I, this is where I start clearing it out completely. You know, I realize it would have been easier to clear out if I had used another right pickaxe with efficiency and haste. But I didn't think about that, so I just didn't create it. So, I just fill in the floor with uh, spruce wood. I'm, I'm sticking with spruce because, I, I, I'm not going to lie, spruce looks very good. And over here I just get rid of any rem remnants of the original K and then I start filling in the walls with spruce logs the little corners with oh wait no I added this part and I know it's not even because this one goes like four blocks instead of three but I messed up and I didn't want to go back and change the whole thing oh I put spruce slabs on the top so I can actually make chests so I use spruce slabs for the roof mostly because I wanted to have a storage system that would go as high as it could and the only way I could do that is by using slabs. And over here I replace the corners with logs and I replace the walls with cobblestone. You're going to see right now, boom, cobblestone. And more cobblestone, more cobblestone, more cobblestone. And now I start decorating. So chests go over here, have a bit of a little epiphany that I could have done that instead and I put barrels there this is a bit different because I think this is much wider than the original 
but I, I like it how it is. You can build what I built. And over here, I put a blast furnace and furnaces because those are the most important. Furnaces are food, blast furnace are for ores, you know, like a miner. Like a miner would, like this is like a miner base, not a really a survival base. So over here I put barrels and it, which where would like the each miner's equipment would be. And on the armor stands I put netherite armor. I could I know I realized I could have gone with like iron armor or something like that, but I wanted to do netherite and I because it fit with the spooky theme and yeah. So I put the I start making like the abandoned railway and then I start adding cobwebs everywhere. So over here I put cobwebs on the armor stands, make it all look old and abandoned, and then I put a couple of mine carts. Put a couple of mine carts everywhere to kind of like make it look like everything's been abandoned. And uh, I think over here I set the game rule. I, I set, yeah, I changed the mob spawning game rule because it was originally off, so mobs wouldn't spawn in dark places. So over here I start putting vines everywhere. I put cobwebs. I put vines on the netherite block and a lamp there. And then over here, down here, I don't remember what I did down here. Oh, yeah, I added vines to this area because it was looking a bit empty. And I wanted it to look old and kind of, kind of overgrown. And over here I'm going to slow it down for a bit. Hold on. So over here, I just place the vines, cobwebs, you know, all that stuff. And then I decided to pull, I decided to take a note out of Hero Vines notebook and I decided to start uh, chopping the leaves off the trees, leaving them like this one, like over here. Just completely, just like a log jutting out from the ground. And I think it's a pretty cool, it, it kind of adds to, because it's bizarre to see that, and it kind of, it kind of sends chills down your spine when you see that, because you know something's wrong when the leaves don't spawn in the trees. So over here I go in survival mode because I thought it would be easier to mine, and it was for a bit, and then I realized that it had actually, it took a bit longer because I actually had to build up to reach the leaves from the very top, so at the very end I actually switched back to creative mode. But I'd like to take a moment to appreciate like how how beautifully rendered these shaders are, and I think the shaders add a, bit, a lot of element to it. So if you if your computer can actually use shaders, I recommend using them. I probably look uh, I probably link the shaders down below. Might forget though, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm sure I will. And anyway, um, so yeah, shaders really add a look to it. Also over here, so I yeah I switch back into creative mode over here, and then I get rid of this, then I get rid of the top part, and then I decide to get rid of the leaves off of this tree as well because you know why not. And that tree too, because they were pretty much connected, so, and I didn't feel like perfectly framing the tree either, so I just decided to just get rid of it completely. And I decided to add a bit more logs, because it was looking a bit empty, to make it more bizarre. And yeah, over there I just finished up with that tree, and I'm pretty sure I finish. Yeah. So I finish, and I set the weather to thunder mode, and... Yeah, that's it. That's all the build that is to the build. Let's put a little cinematic. Well, I can't really do that right now, but I'll probably put some at the end with the outro. And yeah, I think it looks pretty well. I think it looks pretty good. Over here, the spider spawner over here with a couple of zombies inside. The uh, mob spawner with a few zombies inside as well. The uh, base actually has a couple different mobs in it, which I'm actually pretty happy about because I feel like that ha that's how it should look, completely overrun with the monsters. And over here is just the mysterious nether portal that... Oop! The mysterious nether portal that... Nobody left. Okay, so I've decided to do a... Well, for the ending, I decided to just, like, explore the my original design of it instead of doing a bunch of cinematic shots and doing an outro. So, right now, as you can see, I did a lot of cobwebs and I did a lot of things. I'm really proud of this build. I think I did a really good job. This is my... I think this is my first time even building anything remotely, like, creepy like this. So I'm actually kind of proud of how it turned out. Like, over here, in my original one, I filled up this area with uh, skulls instead of zombie uh, heads, and I didn't actually put any chests in here. Uh, which probably clear my inventory. Eh, who knows? Maybe I might need a sword. And over here, instead of, I actually left the armor stands empty to signify that some of the miners went out and never came back. 
However, some of them never left, but you never find their corpses either. So over here, I put the chests and barrels, uh, like the water over here as well. I put the furnaces and the blast furnaces the same. Oh, I use stone bricks for this. I don't even realize. And over here, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. I actually did the nether a bit differently. And oh, I, instead of a cave spider spawner, for the, the other one I did a... For this one, I did TNT. So yeah, you might want to be very careful. And there's nothing really in these chests. You might as well put the iron armor and the tools in here. As well as the arrows. I don't really need them. Eh, might as well take them. Well, anyway. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh, the nether area as well. I'm actually pretty proud of how this turned out. I actually did put something in the chest over here. I put something in here. Oh, I didn't mean to step on that. And I actually made it so that piece of obsidian was missing and I did a bunch I did a bunch of soul sand I did a bunch of black stone to salt and over here it's like the skull, the skull of a miner and a note that says run <laughs> and I think that's pretty nifty I put a diamond pickaxe here you know what I should have done I should have made it so I actually mined the block and survival so that way it would have looked like it was actually mine I'm gonna put that there Yeah, well, this is nifty and all. And... Oh, boy, what's happening? That's what I mean. Did they have to have something wrong? There's something very wrong. Get me out of the hell now. I got it. Code red. I think that was a virus.